Artistic production begins with ceremonial objects destined to serve an occult. One may assume that what mattered was their existence, not their being on view. The elk portrayed by the man of the Stone Age on the walls of his cave was an instrument of magic. He did expose it to his fellow men, but in the main it was meant for the spirits. Walter Benjamin, The Work of Art in the Age of Mechanical Reproduction I am 62 years old, and for most of my life I have been interested in comparative religion and culture, which are often the same thing. For the past several years I have been working on a series called Shards. To an ever greater degree, the work of art reproduced becomes the work of art designed for reproducibility. From a photographic negative, for example, one can make any number of prints. To ask for the authentic print makes no sense. But the instant the criterion of authenticity ceases to be applicable to artistic production, the total function of art is reversed. Instead of being based on ritual, it begins to be based on another practice politics. Walter Benjamin was a Marxist when he wrote this essay in Germany in 1936, so of course to him everything was politics. But what he means by politics here is populism or popular demand for an item or an idea, what became popular art or even pop art of the 1960s. To say that we are, are living in a changing world is to state the obvious. We live in an age of technology that neither we nor our parents had ever begun to envision. Walter Benjamin wrote that even the most perfect reproduction of a work of art is lacking in one element, its presence in time and space. For example, a triptych that might be in a monastery on the top of a mountain that only a few people would make the pilgrimage to see. It was not dependent upon an audience. The exception to this in modern times is architecture. Now, when Walter Benjamin was writing this, the most advanced form of reproduction was celluloid photography. Nowadays, People are nostalgic for that when we've gone into digital. Uh, what I am attempting to do in this series Shards is to take photography, which is the penultimate image, and to turn it into artifact. At one point, toward the beginning of this series, my working title was Religion is Art and Art is Religion. But it slowly dawned on me that religion is too big to contain all art, and art is too big to contain all religion. Even though, perhaps, art began with its roots in religion, and perhaps art has become a form of even a secular religion of our age. So there is a lot of content that deals with religion. Let's 